This is where she dragged the bodies down to the yard. Lady boys. <laughs> Twinks, twonks. After she poisoned them, she put them in our bedroom. I don't even know what the it looked like. Good gracious. Nobody asked for Quibi. Low budget production with high budget celebrities. It doesn't fit anywhere in our current media landscape. Watching a movie in portrait mode is stupid and painful. And you will not be able to watch any of the content on anything other than a phone or a tablet. The future is in your hands. The future is everything has led us to this. Twinks. Quibi. That's right, folks. I'm not talking about the cluttered sections of Netflix. I'm not talking about the unfocused nature of Disney+. Plus. I'm not even talking about Yahoo, because yeah, Yahoo has shows. No, I'm talking about a 100% mobile, because that's super convenient, streaming service. QB. Quibi. 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 QB. QB is an app founded by Jeffrey Katzenberg, aka a founder of DreamWorks, aka producer of The app currently consists of only about 22 shows, with episodes averaging in length of only about 5 minutes. And it's stupid. Okay, it's not that bad, but it's definitely not perfect either. Here's my first gripe. There's this weird vertical video widescreen hybrid feature. Okay, admittedly this is just a nitpick and not super important in the grand scheme of how bad this app is doing, but as a below average mediocre filmmaker like myself, really grinds my gears. Also, it takes up a whole page on the website and it's all over their marketing, so it must be at least a little bit important to them. Basically, all the shows on the platform are asked to be watchable, be watchable horizontally and vertically. Okay, here, look, look listen, see, see, take, pretend you're watching a video, right? This is your frame, you see these two posters here, but when you watch a phone, it's only this much screen. If the shot is this, somehow they have to figure out how to account for both these posters. Here are some more examples. These are some of my favorite movie shots of all time. And see what happens when you try to fit it vertically. It just doesn't work. If there's a two shot of people talking, it won't fit. If you're just trying to show some isolation, if you make it vertical, it removes that large impact of having a huge screen. Now don't get me wrong, if you're making videos solely to be viewed on a vertical screen, by all means, do whatever you want. But on the other hand, if you're trying to make it work for both, it's just gonna end up looking extremely cramped. Here, this is an example from the actual app. This show is called Skirt with Offset. Y yes, yes, that, that offset just... Just roll with it. A series where Offset goes around reviewing cars with his celebrity friends. Cardi B, Lil Yachty, Jay Leno, Jay Leno. Anyways, here's the show normally in widescreen. Why well, smoking? He got it on smoke mode. What's happening, your boy Offset? Me, I got my brother Huncho. We taking a look at the Res Bunny tank today. Whoa. <laughs> and here it is vertically. Why well, smoking? He got it on smoke mode. What's happening, your boy Offset? Me, I got my brother Huncho. We taking a look at the Res Bunny tank today. Whoa. As you can see, it's just not the same. And it's not like the shows are filmed with like lower budget equipment. They clearly use like cinematic grade cameras to film this stuff, but it's only on mobile. How am I supposed to appreciate this good cinematography if it's app is only on mobile? And furthermore, why would I ever even want to watch it vertically? I can't think of a single situation where I would have to watch something vertically. I mean, just, just, just ro just rotate it. Also, yeah, I have an iPhone SE. Just, I'm cheap. I spent all my money on camera gear. That's why I have this. Boom pole was a mic. Maybe if you're on the subway and you have one hand free. It's just fucking look. I'm on the subway, right? I mean you can just Maybe you're in the car and your like phone mount only works vertically. But if you're trying to watch Quibi in your car, I think you have bigger problems. Maybe your rotation lock is broken and your arms just fell off. I don't I I don't fucking know. It doesn't make any sense. It's just a stupid gimmick that I doubt anyone will actually use. And I feel bad for the camera operators, cinematographers, and the video editor who had to decide how to frame the shots and make it work in post vertically and horizontally. Though, not that these shows are very long. Depending on what kind of person you are, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. That's me, I'm, I'm, I'm person. That person also might be wondering, hey Andrew, when do you actually get into the shows? Oh, relax, I'm getting to it. You guys ever watch HGTV? The channel you watch with your aunt on Thanksgiving, after the Macy's Parade, and before football comes on? You know the classics. Property Brothers, Love It or List It, Flipper Flop, great shows, classic comfort TV. Do you ever wish, like, they had more stakes, drama, they were more enticing? 
No? Yeah, me neither. But Quibi okay. thought so. You might be wondering, how do they do that for a house flipping show? Well, fucking murder. This may look like an ordinary house, but 30 years ago, it was the site of unspeakable horror. Seven people murdered by a little old lady. Murder House Flip. <laughs> Murder House Flip is the type of show that makes any attempt at a straightforward review sound like someone on a street corner having a heat struck. Oh, sorry, this is a review from The Collider. Okay, listen, I can't give this show justice with an exclamation. Just, just watch. But every house deserves a second chance. We've somehow got to flip it and make it something positive. Murder and makeover don't usually go together. Okay, so the show is about finding houses where horrible crimes were committed and remodeling them? What? Dorothea Puente ran this as a boarding house. She took in people that uh, had no families. After she poisoned them, she would put them in what is now our bedroom. Okay, so usually when you watch these HTVS shows, they have these like, you know, those diagrams, like the blueprints that show what they're gonna do with the house. But on this show, it's, here's where the bodies were. Welcome hey, to how our are home. You guys? Come on in. Such a beautiful neighborhood you have here. It's hard to believe such a normal couple would live in a murder house. I'm so glad you guys are here. Us too. Yeah, yeah. we're excited. Excited? For, for what, motherfucker? So you found the Dorothea Puente murder house of all of the listings that you could have found. That's, That's correct. Yeah. So the murders happen, like, on this floor? In our bedroom. What? Yes. And the one that you sleep in? No shit, they sleep in there. What the hell do you think a bedroom? Oh my god, they probably had sex in there. Oh wow. I didn't get any weird vibes yet, but I'm kind of sensing that Joelle is not okay with this. This is where she dragged the bodies down to the yard. Nope. No, I can't. I can't keep watching this. I can't keep watching this. This is horribly, horribly tasteless. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with being into true crime. You know, I, I actually do like that kind of like hardcore documentary kind of stuff. Ryan and Shane, those are my boys. Give us the juice. Give me the juice. Give us the juice. Give me the juice. But you know, I like those because they actually pay respect to the victims. Some studio executive on Crack Cloud 9 came up with this while taking a shit. I can't believe a show like this was released. It seems like something you'd see on like SNL or Eric Andre or like a fake show in GTA 5. Anyways, I think we're gonna move on because this one show could probably take up its own video. So uh, let me know if you wanna see that. See how I did that there? You know, extended the view probability of this video to other videos. That's uh, that's called job security, baby. So after doing some very light digging, it looks like Quibi is not doing too hot right now. Coincidentally, I found this article ranking all the current shows on Quibi and Murder House Flip is second to last. What is first to last, you may ask? Well, plants. People, kids, bees. Lady boys, astronauts, cowgirls. Bears, twinks, twunks. What's a twunk? It's a twink and a hunk. I'm drawing a blank here. I don't, is this supposed to be bad? Is it supposed to be like stilted and awkward? Like, I'm not sure what this is going for. I can't tell if this is like something that was written, like genuinely written, or if this is a documentary that's just really awkward and slow. And we'll have merch. Merch is good. The merch, actually, I'd like to hear about. T-shirts, hats. Is that the same guy? That's the same... That's, they look like the same... That's the same fucking... What's going on? That's the same guy. How do people nurture their garden? Do they ever play music for their plants? That's how they're so big. You have the most luscious garden Thank I've you. ever seen. Thank you. I sing a different song to him every day. Who is this dude? I like him. Can we, have a, can we have a show about that guy instead? That is so beautiful. You should try it. I couldn't. I'm dripping in herb. Oh, oh my God. Kicking waste to the curb. Oh my God, somebody stop her. It's rosemary time, cilantro a lime, cause sage is the word. Woo! Love trap music, just as much as probably you guys do. Listen, I don't want to generalize, but she, she doesn't seem like the kind of, she, she doesn't look like the- Wellness has a new voice, a black voice. Oh my god, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna bring him back. Please bring back post office Morgan Freeman, please. Who? Me, I'm black. Quick pull, can Nikki Fresh say the N-word? Thinking more of a mindfulness, because that's what my brand is. So, you know, I think straw hats, mm. gardening aprons, a composting clutch. I like to remind everyone that this episode is only like five minutes long. Feels like 17 weeks, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. 
Hop out the Porsche, straight to the store. Oh, what the? But only organic, cause I'm about to plant it and drop to the pork. The kids don't got school today. It's time for them chores. Then go to your homework, cause I know you got more. Don't bring the Virgo out in me. Cut your TV down, cause mama trying to read. This that parent trap. This how mommy rap. Ain't no talking back. We not going back. Okay. I'm sure Nikki Fresh or Nicole Richie, whoever she is, I'm sure she's a super nice and super talented person. But ironic or not, this is horrendous. Apples, beans, vanilla, coffee, almonds, avocados, watermelon, cabbage, but we really hit the lotto. C come on, who wrote this? Me? Also, because I know you're wondering, yes, every episode ends with a trap song. And yes, Bill Nye appears in the next episode. Oh my god. That's Bill Nye. Bill Nye is here. Do I look too young? He is very good looking. Uh, enough of that. I can't keep watching this. So, verdict. Should you get Quibi? Quibi? Quabi? Honestly, I don't know, because I don't know who this app is for. I'm not sure what demographic they're targeting. Is it my generation? Gen Z? The vertical video gimmick would point to that, but there only seems to be a few shows vaguely directed toward my generation. Also, side note, I don't really like using generations as a way to generalize a whole group of people. Anyone born after... 2009. In terms of marketing and demographics, my generation, Gen Z, we're into like Disney cartoon nostalgia and uh, long bingeable Netflix shows and, you know, TikTok and superheroes. Not really whatever Quibi is about. Quibi just seems like YouTube for celebrities that you have to pay for, even though I think I'd rather be watching YouTube. This is the point where I reveal that this app costs $8 a month. That doesn't sound bad until you remember that Disney Plus is a dollar less for an exponentially larger amount of content. And this may just be a personal bias, but I feel like this app was created by, excuse me, boomers. With no grasp on how entertainment on the internet works these days. Websites like YouTube can be viable platforms where shows with extremely high production value can be viewed by millions of people absolutely free. Kwaibai offers the same exact thing, except it's more limited, there's less content, and you have to pay $8 a month. And let me remind you, you can only watch on mobile. No laptops, no TV, no computer, no etch sketch just your phone. I'm sorry, Jeffrey, but Kwaiba gets the official, the real, the toxic -y, official stamp of real disappointment. There it is right there. P put it on your website. So yeah, don't pay for Kwaiba, but do sign up for their actually very generous 90-day free trial, binge all of Murder House Flip, and cancel on day 89. I don't even know what the it look like. I don't even have a word for this shit. Apples, beans, vanilla, coffee, almonds, avocados, watermelon, cabbage, but we really hit the lotto. A pesticide, homicide, and we'll be soon to follow. Cause if these bees are gone today, then we'll be gone tomorrow. You kill these insects? That's the worst flex. Be driven in five alive. We're swimming in pesticides. I put